Hi guys, and welcome back to part two. James and the Queen of Zelda. James thought he was the most important engine on the island of Zelda. He was very proud of his shiny red paintwork, which kept clean and spot, so he was always ready to do important jobs for the fat, fat controller. One day, Professor joined James and Gordon at the washdown. He had been working at the Quarry, so he was very dirty. My whistle was all clogged up, he said. He blew hard to clear it. It accidentally covered Gordon in mud. Don't get me dirty, too, said James. They've got to stay nice and clean because I'm going to collect the mare. So James picked up the mare and was puffing proudly across the island when he passed Gordon. He whistled loudly to show off. Gordon was not amused. He decided he had to teach James a lesson. That afternoon, the fat controller needed an engine to take the Queen of Sodor to the scrapyard. She is a leaky old barge, so it's a very dirty job, he said. Just then, James arrived at the shed. Gordon knew he hated getting dirty, so he decided to trick him. That's a very important job, he said. An important job, said James quickly. I will do that. James felt very proud when he heard he would be collecting the Queen of Sodor. He thought the other engines must be very jealous. His paintwork was shiny and clean, but he could hardly wait to meet the Queen. Before long, James arrived at the canal. I'm here to collect the Queen of Sodor, he announced proudly. The manager pointed to a dirty old barge. There she is, he said. Oh, no, the Queen's a slimy old barge, James said in horror. James realised Gordon had tricked him into doing the dirty job. He wants me to get all mucky, he said. James was more determined than ever that he would deliver the barge without getting dirty. James set off with the Queen of Sodor. He pushed her carefully along the track so he didn't get covered in slime. James managed to get nearly halfway across the island without getting dirty. He felt very pleased with himself, but he didn't realise that a faulty pipe was pouring oil onto the track head. Watch out! called his driver as he applied the brakes. Luckily, James managed to stop just in time. Oil slopped over the barge, but James stayed clean. Workmen came and fixed the pipe, and James carried on his journey. James was very relieved to leave the dirty barge at the scrapyard. When he arrived back at the engine shed, the engines were surprised to see him still looking clean. How did you stay so clean? asked Thomas in surprise. I have to stay clean, replied James. So I'm always ready to do important jobs. Just then, Percy returned from working at the quarry. My whistle is clogged again, he said. He blew hard to clear it, yet this time he covered James in dust. No! cried James, but it was too late. He had managed to stay clean all day, and now he was filthy. James sighed loudly. <sighs> There aren't any important jobs to do now, teased Thomas. You would definitely need a washdown first, James. The engines all peeped, peep, 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 cheerfully, and even James smiled in the end.
Well, see you tomorrow for part three, guys. Bye.